Greetings, all you maniacs of the minds, when it grinds. Welcome back to the other installment of Manic Mondays. Now, today, I'm going to be talking about Dark Souls 1. Uh, specifically, the playthrough after New Game Plus. Because that's what's going to happen. So, I have been playing through Dark Souls. And I have been really liking it. It's really fun. But... I will admit, some parts of it have been really, really damn irritating to me. But, it's not unfair. It's great, actually. The long walk to the boss room of Bed of Chaos wasn't too terrible. I mean, I guess. That boss annoyed me a little bit. See, the scalist nearly broke my computer with the sickest frame rates you've ever seen when he did that crystal attack. The game crawled to like 5 FPS. It was actually kind of funny. I got cursed, and I beat him at the same time. Okay. Um, and Ornstein and Smog were... Well, Ornstein and Smog. <laughs> Just really, really tough. But, you know, some bosses I absolutely mollywopped, and you're not going to like the sound of this, but I did sort of kind of boost my level. Now, I didn't do anything super, super crazy with Cheat Engine, like give myself infinite stamina, infinite health. No, I simply just boosted my level for the lulls. So the series that I have planned is that, okay, first off, I'm going to be in dragon form the entire time. Getting to the Dragon Covenant was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Jesus Christ. The, the frogs didn't get me. The, the cursed frogs did not get me. It was the falls that got me. I'm not invincible. I just have pretty much max stats. Whatever. That's the only thing I use Cheat Engine for and also to get the, dragons, the, the dragon scales to get the full dragon form. That's it. I didn't mod anything else, I promise you. I leveled up my base cannon in the normal fashion, which took quite a while, to be honest. I had to keep going back and forth from different blacksmiths to get the large titanite shard, go back to Andre to upgrade the base cannon more and more and more, and now it's like plus 11, which is very, very strong. Um, no, it's plus 10. So, yeah, it is going to be sort of hacked souls. But it's mostly just for the lulls. The game was still hard. I still struggled even with modding my level to max level. Even before I got the dragon form, I was still struggling. Sure, I had poise for days because I was wearing the Black Knight set. But I could have worn the Havel set to get more poise, but I wanted to the fast roll. So, but, you know... Yeah, I sort of cheated, but it's not like I made myself one-shot everything. Although I do have the capacity to one-shot. But that's besides the point. I'm still having a lot of fun with the game, and it's still the hardest Souls game I've ever played. It's way harder than Dark Souls 3. Although, to be fair... Dark Souls 3, I can't really beat every single boss by myself. I'm pretty sure I can beat every single boss in Dark Souls 1 by myself. Mostly because some of them are extremely exploitable, but I didn't do any of that. I faced them head on. I did not kill them by hucking firebombs over into their boss room. No, I went straight into their face and hacked them to pieces with my giant flipping sword. So... Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to, in the new series I have planned, I am going to see if I cannot one-shot. I'm really curious. There are some spells that I'm missing and some things that I am missing. I could look those up, but I just want to see, just with the dragon buff and resin, and maybe another few little things, just how powerful that base cannon can actually get. And I will make it plus 15 by finding the very large ember, which I don't really know where it is. Help. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And again, I know, I know, I'm a filthy, dirty, cheater casual. The game is still hard, even with hacks. And like I said, 
I did not make myself one shot. I did not give myself a plus 15 chaos weapon, even though that's not possible. I did not freaking, you know, give myself unlimited health, unlimited poise, unlimited stamina. I didn't do any of that. I simply gave myself enough souls, which was a lot, to max myself out pretty much. There's only two stats that are not 99, but whatever. I could easily just get more souls if I wanted to, but I don't think it's necessary. Maybe for the one-shots, maybe, because I would need uh, faith and intelligence for certain spells, but like I said, whatever. I'm having fun. That's all, that's all that matters. Yeah, I am a cheater, but hell, the game lets you exploit the crap out of bosses. Every single boss in the game, I'm pretty sure, you can kill without ever facing them, which is a little bit absurd and i'm glad that dark souls 3 does not let you do this because that's very cheap it is very cheap and the walks to some of these boss rooms like grave lord nito holy crap i missed the bonfire down down in those skeleton depths in the the tomb of giants i missed the bonfire the first time i had to walk all the way down without a bonfire and then I found the bonfire and I was super pissed. But still, the freaking the walk to that boss room. Holy crap, some of these boss room walks are annoying. The boss themselves, yeah, they're whatever they're the bosses. But I'd say the walk is a mini boss. If you can make it through there, good luck with the boss. I also went into the boss fight with no Estus. Because I used all my sips. Can I just say something about that? Why does the dragon form, why do you, like, chug with your neck? Like, you put the freaking Estus to your throat and just splash it on yourself. It's like, really? You guys couldn't have fixed this? You're like, oh, it's okay. It's a dragon, so who cares? But come on. Whatever. I also, I don't have the flippy ring, by the way. I'll get the flippy ring new game plus, and that'll be fun. Flippy dragon. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be cool. Rip Sif. Ah, oh, poor doggo. Uh, pinwheel was easy as hell. <laughs> I three shot at the poor guy. Um, anyway, that's what I got planned. This will happen probably next week, somewhere around there. And it's going to be hella fun. I have not beaten the game yet, by the way. I think I'm missing one Lord Soul or. Something like that. Uh, I haven't, I haven't killed the four kings yet, so I think that's the last guy I have to kill. I think I did every single boss. I, th I'm pretty sure I did every single boss. I could be missing a few. Who knows? But whatever, right? It's gonna be the the series is going to be. A meme series. That's basically all, all it is going to be. It's just going to be something for fun. I'm going to try my damnedest to edit it the most I can with silly music, sound effects, whatever. Maybe the One Punch Man theme song if I actually do get a one shot. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I, can, I honestly cannot wait. I especially can't wait to see how fast I can kill the Iron Golem. Because you guys know how long it took me to kill that guy. Oh my god. But. That's for the future. That is for a week from now. Something around there. Once I beat the game. I will not continue. At all with that character. I will wait. Next week or the week after. I'll start up that series. Of hacked souls. And it's going to be. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun, and I, I seriously cannot wait for it. It's going to be hilarious, it's going to be ridiculous, and it's going to just be... Oh my god. <laughs> it's going to be great. So, yeah, I hacked Dark Souls. Whatever. I will also maybe get Dark Souls 2 eventually maybe i don't know if if it's worth it scholar of the first sin i'm interested it seems a lot of fun 
But I know I resorted to hacking. I'm a filthy casual cheater. I don't care. The game is still hard. Even with hacks. I'd say hacking it made it... It's still more difficult than Dark Souls 3. By a long shot. Dark Souls 3 I haven't hacked. And I can't one-shot boss as well. You know. But anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment. And remember, in Troby, we trust.